Um, got a minute? Huh? Get out of my space, schoolboy! Excuse me. Huh? Who the hell you think you are? Akasaka-san. Hi, Leo. That day, did you see a black car? A black car? I hear it came from Sakuragaoka and drove through Dobuita at full speed. Hmm. I had no idea. I see. Leo, why don't you try asking people on the shopping street? Maybe someone saw it down there. Yeah? Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. Right, man. I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Hi. What can I get you? Gomina-san, I need to find some people from China around here. Who is the best person to ask? Ah, well, you know that restaurant that does fabulous roasted pork? You mean Ajiichi? Yes, that's the one. Why don't you ask the owner? Good idea. 
Well, see you. Taosan. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that, but the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please. Is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up. So you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So, I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mam Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Um... Yes! Itoi-san, do you know about the Three Blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the Three Blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu-san. Liu-san? That's right, over at the Barber's. I see. But Itoi-san, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Nen. Is that so? Thank you. See you.
Excuse me. Help yourself to a glass of water. No. I have something to ask you. What is it? Where is the Liu Barber and Hair Salon? Liu? Let's see. Judging by the name, I'd assume the owner was a Chinese person. But since I don't know them, I really can't say. I see. You, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is... My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Um, are you Diu-san? Yes, I am. And you? 
My name is Dio Hazuki, from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Ajiichi's Tao Sun suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Tom. Hi, Rio. Do you know any place where sailors hang out? Sailors? Yeah, I do. They hang out at bars. They always start street fights when they're drunk, you know. I can't stand them, man. Which bar do they hang out at? I don't know. I'm broke. I can't afford to drink. Oh, well. Later. Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know any place where sailors might hang out around here? Sailors? There should be a lot of them in the bars around here at night. Bars. Thank you. Um... What is it, kid? I need to ask you something. Forget it! Um... Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You fighting with me? I've got a question for you. Who are you kidding? Kiss off, twit! Um... Welcome. Um... I'm looking for a place where sailors hang out. Do they come here? Sailors? No. They don't come here. But more importantly, you do have time to come in, right? No, I'm in a hurry. Um... Yeah? Do you want... No thanks. I'd better go. Mm. Excuse me. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. How about a cola? Sure. So, what's up? Saijo-san. Do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? 
You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? You'll probably find guys like that there. That's all right. Hi, Ryo. Akemi-san. Is it, kid? I need to ask you something. Forget it! Um... Who the hell do you think you fuck? Excuse me? Excuse, I just can't ask me later. Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know any place where sailors... Sailors? There should be a lot of them in the Bars. Thank you. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! sailors maybe I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships what are you some kind of TV detective or something back off you little punk you looking for some of this you stupid that's enough you put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Son. Hey, Rio. Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka son at the jacket shop? I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Thank you.
You're still so tiny. Luo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, ine -san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand. Son, do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? No, don't know him. Who is he? I think he's somehow connected with those men in the black suits. The black suits? He has a tattoo on his arm too. What? Really? Do you know anything else about it? No, I don't. I see. Gotta get to bed. I will get them, father. Dear Ryo, those who follow the path of a warrior must be ready to die in order to stand by their convictions, live for one's convictions, die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path and follow it through.
gotta get to bed.